Now, the military says uh, following the killing of five soldiers at a checkpoint by IPOP ESN terrorists in Abia state, troops have arrested over 100 suspects in the search for perpetrators. However, those found innocent have been released, while those found culpable remain in detention and are assisting with the ongoing investigation. Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, stated that troops conducted several intelligence-based operations that led to the discovery and destruction of several IPOB ESN terrorist camps across the region, including that Iwaro Forest in Aruchuku local government area of the state. Now, following the killing of five personnel at the checkpoint in Aba, in Abia State, Troops conducted several intelligence-based operations and these operations led to the discovery and destruction of several indigenous people of Biafra and their Eastern Security Network cohorts terrorist camps across the Southeast region. In particular, a forest at Iboru in Arotuku local government area of Abia State was raided among several other camps of these terrorist groups. Now, several arrests were made, and those who were found not to have any connection with the incident were released while several others caught people are still in detention. Those in detention at the moment are assisting troops, providing valuable intelligence which is helping us to locate other camps and other significant individuals who are involved Accordingly, we have sustained the momentum against the terrorists and their cohorts, not just in the southeast, but all across the country. He, however, declined to respond to Zamfara State Governor Dauda Lawal's criticism of the military's efforts in combating banditry in the state. Recent comments made by the Zamfara State Governor during a recent interview on one of our nation's TV stations. And in response, I will say that the military remains subservient to political authorities, and in this case, the governor of Zamfara State, particularly being the leader, the political leader of that state. We have troops on the ground fighting the terrorists and indeed have lost several men as a result of intense fighting even in that Zamfara state. The military will not join war with the government. Rather, we elect the path of cooperation over conflict with the government. The allegations that he has raised against the military and the security forces in the state really needs to be analyzed impartially and understood. And it underscores what I have mentioned earlier, that winning the war without the support of the people of the state is close to impossible. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.